Hey, DJ, can you uh, walk me through the process that led you from starting the season thinking you'd play defense to ended up being one of the more productive receivers on the team? Well, it was it was honestly so crazy. Uh, like how you said, I definitely thought I was going to be playing defensive back this season. But um, a couple things happened with the receiver uh, room, and uh, we were real depleted a couple weeks before the game. And uh, Coach Kleiman just asked me, if uh, if I'd be willing to move back, and without hesitation, I said yes. Uh, I just I just want to do anything and everything to help this team win and be successful. And so when he asked me to do that, I was I was all in. Well, you played receiver in high school, so it couldn't have been a you know a, a crazy transition for you. But what did you have to relearn doing everything? Uh, honestly, it was just uh, being committed to learn the playbook, uh, learn this playbook again, and uh, just being able to uh, put my mind forward and focus really hard on that, it was uh, it was fairly uh, easy for me to uh, go ahead and learn the playbook again. And uh, just being, you know, have that mindset of, you know, I got to catch the ball now instead of, you know, trying to de defend somebody from not catching the ball. So it was just really more of a mental thing, trying to uh, switch back, you know, mindsets from, uh, from once being a receiver and then uh, switching to DB and then going back to receiver again. So it wasn't too much of a... Uh, you know, thick transition physically, but it was more mental. <clears throat> I also wanted to ask, as, as his former teammate, um, Byron Pringle has made big plays in back-to-back -back game for the Chiefs down the road. When you were playing with him here, did you see that kind of feature in him that he had an NFL NFL kind of talent? Oh, yeah, most definitely, yeah. I've, I've, I learned so much from Byron Pringle. He he, uh, he inspired me in a lot of ways as a receiver, and he, he taught me a lot of things while he was here. I was just picking his brain with everything as far as, like, the mental standpoint of the mental standpoint of the game and physical. So he was a great teammate while he was here, and we still keep in touch. <laughs> Greg? Hey, DJ. Uh, first question is, um, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir, I can. Okay, very good. Thank you. Have you been home at all since uh, summer conditioning in Georgia? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> I haven't been back uh, in Atlanta since, uh, yeah, since I think July. And how have you, how do you think you have held up for being away from home and through going through everything that the team has been going through this season? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a fifth year vet in the program. So uh, I, I'm not really homesick at all. You know, I'm, I'm very used to being out here. And, you know, there was just a goal that our team had. You know, we just wanted to be able to compete this season. And all we want to do was just win. <laughs> and that was our goal. So that was really what my mind was made up on. So I really wasn't concerned about, you know, being homesick and whatnot. It's a, you, it's a, go ahead. Say? Go ahead. Oh, I, was, I was just going to say that it's a blessing that I have parents that are able to, you know, come out here and travel for games and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't miss them. I don't, you know, get to miss them too much, but it's always a pleasure to see them when they come. Have you found yourself trying to pick up others who are a long way from home who may have been isolated, whether they were sick or not early in the season? Yeah. Whenever a teammate, is uh feeling down I, I like to always reach out because I feel like I'm like the positive spark for our for our players and the team and so whenever somebody is feeling down or they need someone to talk to I, I always want my teammates to be able to to feel like they were, can uh rely on me to uh, you know give them that positive spark that they need <clears throat> Adam DJ, you had smaller colleges to go to to commit to play football, and then you chose K State because you wanted to be have a chance to play in a Power Five conference and having the red shirt, and then the, get some playing time but not record stats. And then now in your senior year, like finally playing consistently, having an active role. Just what has that journey been like for you in your career here, and then now having this impact that you do? It's honestly been an amazing journey. I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, I'm just so thankful for Coach Kleiman and his staff for uh, coming in and embracing uh, me as a person and a player and making me a better person and a player. I mean, I, 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 all my thanks goes out to them <clears throat> and my teammates that we have here uh, on the uh, roster this season. It's been a blessing being able to play for Coach Kleiman and his staff. John? Yeah, DJ, along those same lines, man, I, I mean, so many kids in today's day and age in college football, if they would have had the same career path that you've really had, would have transferred a long time ago. I mean, had that thought ever crossed your mind and what's led to you sticking it out and, and coming here to this point where you're at? 
my teammates, man, I just, I just love my team so much. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I really met brothers for life here. And that was really the, the holding glue to, uh, to allow me to stay here. Yeah, the thought has came in my mind, you know, the, uh, the first three seasons with the uh, old staff that, I, you know, that I maybe wanted to, you know, try somewhere else. But when Coach Kleiman and his staff came in, I just I, I felt like this was definitely the place where I needed to be. And it, and it all worked itself out. I wouldn't want it any other way. Uh, I love K-State. And I was going to ask, too, about your connection with Will, because I imagine at the beginning of the year, you guys were probably working together quite a bit when you would switch back to receiver. Like, what, what is the connection like between you two that you have? Well, I just uh, – I try to get work with Will – any any time any time before practice or after practice, I, uh, I always try to talk to him about like what he what he's seeing on the field. Just just like I just want to be able to be able to be his like security blanket in, in certain situations and be able to just ha allow him to have confidence in me. And so I just want to be able to do anything and everything right so that we can uh, when I'm out there and it's time to uh, you know go out there and execute. I just want to be out go out there and make the plays for the team that we need. <clears throat> Appreciate it, DJ. Thanks, man. Last one here, Fitz. Uh, DJ, uh, kind of follow up with what John just asked. Um, I'm a believer that blessings can come in the darkest times, and 2020 has indeed sucked. Um, but, you know, you went through the process of being a receiver, didn't see a lot of playing time. You went to defense, didn't see a lot of playing time. And now this year you came back to receiver, and you find yourself in a pretty important role. Is it kind of remarkable how you ended up at this spot? Yes, all I can say it, it it is truly a blessing, and, and God is amazing. Uh, it's, it's 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 amazing how like when you just stick the course and just trust the process, and you know you have to have an honest self assessment when it comes to certain things. There were things that I that I was doing in the past that didn't allow me to get on the field, but now when I when I uh, truly sat back and uh, realized what I needed to do differently to allow myself to get on the field, I made that commitment for the team, and so I just wanted to be out. I just it was my senior year, so I just wanted to have the best impact that I could for this team. A couple of weeks ago when you had that first reception, I think it was a little short looking pattern and how good it feel to get that ball nestled in there and know that you were in at a meaningful time of the game. It, it honestly felt great. I haven't felt that feeling since I was <laughs> a senior in high school. Literally my, I think my last reception in high school was like November 10th, 2015, <laughs> five, literally five years ago. So it, it felt so good and, all I can say is God is amazing, and <laughs> I love Coach Plyman and his staff for giving me this opportunity.